Hi everybody, George Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. The idea from this card come from Pinterest. It's by a girl called oh, her YouTube no, not YouTube Pinterest page is called Jackie's Cards. I'm sure it's Jackie's Cards. Let me show you. Oh, I didn't save it. Let's see if I can f quickly find it. Um. Bear with me a minute. I have made this card before. I made it for my niece's anniversary. But I didn't film it. So I thought I would make it again. But make it a birthday card. And film it. Just going to see if I can find it, but out of all these magnolia cards, that's right. It has been on there a while, I must admit, because I seen it when it first came out. I'm sure the lady's called Jackie's Cards. I'm so sure that's what it's called. Hmm. Blog hop. Fancy not saving it. Like I said, I made it before, it was for my niece, and her anniversary was April, two months ago. Now it's repeating itself now. See if I saved it when I first saw it. No, I didn't. But I'm sure the lady's called Jackie's Cards. I'm sure that's what her blog hop's called. Anyway, so we're going to make this. I've already cut this out. I haven't coloured it, but I've cut it out. Um, and we're going to stamp the board and whatnot. But I think I shall make this for a niece card. Um, someone's asked me to make a, a niece birthday card. No, I'll do something different for that. Right, I am going to use my new Stamp Perfect for this. Right, let's do the card stock first. I have got a card base of 5 and 7 eighths by 11 and 3 quarters. And I've scored it. I haven't scored it. And I've, yeah, I have scored it at 5 and 7 eighths. And burnished, folded it in half and burnished it so it's five and seven eighths by five and seven eighths 
I have some um, DSP from the Marigold papers and that is five and five eighths by five and five eighths. I have a piece of petal pink that is five by five and I have a piece of white here that is four and three quarters by four and three quarters. And I obviously got the big flower which I've stamped out. Just got to colour that in. So to get started we are going to stamp on here. Now when I did the first card I left this in. When I made you know the one I've just showed you. I left it in when I should have taken it out because the stamp and I've got the wrong one. Hang on a minute. Oh, where is it? Oh. Try and find the stamp set now. I brought out the flower and not this one. So, this one we'll just place evenly at the bottom. Pick it up and with Calypso Coral, no, Early Espresso, nothing like Calypso Coral, we're going to ink it up. Flip it over and stamp it down. And then what we do, we turn it round, place the magnets back on, ink it up, and stamp it down. I mean, if you've got the Stamper Artist, you can do this. If you've got a stamp position, a Misty, or oh, I don't know what they're called now. There's so many out there. This is my new big one. Which I've got from Huchanda. A crafting... TV channel. And it cost me £14, which is a bargain. And that is all four sides. Stamp nicely on the um, card. Clean the stamp, put it away, take this off, put my phone back in, magnets back in, and put it away. Right, now I've got a happy birthday stamp which I got out of Guy's Greeting 
it's the only stamp set I've got or that I could find that's got like a plainish happy birthday together I didn't want a fancy script one and that I just stamped down in this corner like that and that's that done let's put that back close that up we don't need that anymore and then that will get glued on there which we might as well do before we colour in the flower this has got like an eighth of an inch border all the way around it so you could see it gets glued flat as well making sure we give it a nice even border all the way around I'll pop that to one side and we're bringing our flower right with old olive which I always use nothing fancy just colouring it in Big one. We have got rain today. Is not good because my middle daughter was going to come and see me tomorrow and we were going to sit out in the garden because that's what the government says that I'm allowed a visitor as long as I go and sit in the garden I'm actually allowed out and go and visit her but she doesn't have covering my husband's not allowed to sit out in the sun because of his lupus. Right, I've got petal pink and all I'm doing is the bottom of each petal, just the bottom of each petal. And there. Nothing. What am I doing? Just want a bit of 
the dark petal pink and then with the light petal pink I'm just going to go up a bit. Nothing fancy, just adding a bit of colour to the leaves, leaves, petals. That's all I'm doing. I'm colouring the folds in. That's it. And then with soft suede light, colour the branch in. And there's our flower colour then. And with this, I will sit it on there, on dimensionals. So, turn it over and place dimensionals on this, one on each leaf. in the middle Let's get a mini dimensional for the um, branch. We're going to place that around the happy birthday, like that. Now we're going, I never done it on this one, only because I was too lazy to go and get them out of the cupboard. We're going to place some gems on, just three. Three gold gems. That's what I haven't done yet. Just seen a bit where I haven't coloured in. Get down. Just get daffodil the light and colouring the 
the center. Of my flower. And that is it. That is how I made this card. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.